Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello, hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim Alias from Univers University of Science Malaysia. In this video, I would like to talk about this topic, a model for future-proof learning. This is a model that I would like to propose for a future-proof learning. Future-proof simply means whatever unexpected events in the future, come what may, our education system, our educators, our students, our, and also parents can easily and quickly adapt to the new environment. In other words, we want an education system that is agile and the people are agile as well. And on, on top of that, we also want to develop the element of resilience in the system as well as in the people. So, what is, what is it that we want to future proof? I think the bottom line is always about learning. So, you can see here from active learning to agile learning. Educators have been talking about active learning for a long time, but I believe much work still need, need to be done here to, to implement active learning effectively and impactfully. But I believe the time has come for us to shift to the next level beyond active learning. So my suggestion is we should move, move up a notch from active to proactive learning and ultimately to agile learning. In active learning environment, students may be actively engaged behaviorally, emotionally and cognitively, but they're still very much directed by the teachers here. Teachers are very much in control, still in control here. On the other hand, in proactive learning, students are empowered to take control of their learning. They are in the driving seat of their learning, so to speak. They take charge of their own learning here. They are more proactive in strategizing and, and determining their learning. They ask, criti crit they ask critical questions. They are very inquisitive. They seek feedback. And these are students who are metacognitively driven. So there's a metacognitive simply means thinking about your own thinking, thinking about what you are doing, what you are learning. You are reflecting always on the reflective modes. So the students are actually a reflective, always reflecting on what they are learning. So this is what I mean by students that are metacognitively driven. So in, in proactive learning also at the same time, uh, teachers are also proactively and metacognitively driven here. They always seek new ideas, new innovation, always thinking about what uh, they are doing in their teaching, in their learning design, in their lesson plan. Always looking for new ideas to give the best learning experience that, that would lead to impactful and deep learning for their students. So now let's look at the meaning of agile learning. And this is the ultimate, you know, uh, from a proactive learning. If you want to create a future-proof, so-called future-proof learning, we need to create what we call agile learning. The word agile itself means the ability for the system or for the people to move and respond quickly, to adapt very quickly and promptly to any external stimulus or external stimuli or external changes. And this can only happen when both students and teachers are met metacognitively driven. So this has to happen, happen first for active learning before we can get to the agile learning. So this is what I would like to propose to create a so-called future proof learning model. Um, it has to be based on what, what, I, um, what I call here metacognitive based teaching and learning strategies. In this model, um, by the way, I just include two main players in this model, the student and also the teacher. Uh, maybe later on, you know, I can include, we can include also parents and school administrators as well. But for the sake of simplicity in this model, I just focus on student on the left hand side here and also the, the teacher. So these are the two so-called main, the key players. So to have an agile learning, we need students who are 
agile and resilient. Students who are self-regulated and self-directed. These are students, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, they are always uh, very proactive. They always think about their own learning. And these are students who always ask these kind of questions. What am I seeking to learn or be able to do? What have I learned? How can I take my learning to the next level? How will I make personal meaning of this content? What do I currently know or think about the topic? These are examples of questions that uh, self-directed or self-regulated learners or students are always thinking about. We also need teachers uh, who are also metacognitively driven. So they are agile and resilient teachers who are metacognitively driven. And these are the teachers who have reached a high level of competency and professionalism. These are creative and innovative teachers who are proactive and always willing to go to the extra mile to give the best learning experience to their students. These are metacognitively driven teachers. They are reflect, reflective practitioners who ask these kind of questions. What are the most important aspects of this lesson? What makes students encounter difficulties? What, how, how can I link this content to their prior learning, prior knowledge? Is this lesson going as I planned? And many more questions. So, my dear listeners and, and fellow educators, well, while there are a lot of things we need to improve in our education system, we believe we can start by future-proofing learning. Yeah? Uh, future, future-proofing the people. These are, you know, like our students here, self-directed and self-regulated, and they develop the skill to learn how to learn. Whereas the teachers are also metacognitive driven, uh, enhance professionalism, they master the necessary essential skill, uh, especially to implement hybrid learning because moving forward, I think that's the way to go, hybrid learning. So this is something that we can, uh, I, I believe, uh, something that we can, can start by future-proofing learning, future-proofing the people, this is something that we can do immediately and something that is very much in our control. Of course, I think in the future, we, we also need to rob in parents as well and school administrators because we need all the, these uh, different people to play their roles, different parties to play their role in order to implement this uh, successfully. So finally, and the last slide here, Maslow before Bloom. Well, <laughs> I just want to make a quick mention here on the real need to address the basic human needs before you know the basic human needs in, in the Maslow hierarchy of needs I'm sure many of you are familiar familiar before we can even talk about learning itself because because people say the good news to a hungry person is bread or rice okay? the good news to a, to a hungry person is bread or rice because if they are hungry they can they cannot even think about other things let alone about learning. So I'm sure, you know, this is something that I think we need to focus, uh, to, to pay attention to because probably we, we have been, I mean, uh, not to say neglect, but we, we pay less attention to to the basic needs, yeah? The basic needs uh, that the students need before they are able to, uh, to learn or even start to think about learning. So I think with that, I end my presentation and sharing here. So I hope this has been uh, useful. Uh, the, uh, what I'm sharing here is about a future proof learning model. And uh, this is something that we can think about it together. I would appreciate your feedback. We can put your feedback in the description below below the video. Okay. So I hope to see you in another video uh, to share another ideas. Alright. So thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video.